Thank you so much, uh, both to Amanda and Linda. On behalf of our entire conference, uh, we appreciate your fierce advocacy. We appreciate you being here today. Um, and today, you know, the saying goes, promises made, promises kept. We want to ensure that that happens. Uh, this just isn't an idea. This is a law. This is a law passed in a bipartisan fashion that says very specific things. That the board must be, uh, the board must be seated. And before any of this money is spent, it must go through the board. Because the reality is, is that nobody wants bureaucrats making decisions about how this money is spent. Because frankly, bureaucrats don't know the best way for this money to be spent. The reality is, is that people like Linda, people like Amanda, and countless others who have walked their journey, who have walked their path, they recognize how this money should be spent. They understand how it should be spent because they've lived it. They understand how to save lives. And we, as elected people in this state legislature, uh, should be men and women of our word, and we should follow the letter of the law. I learned a long time ago that doing what's right is easy. And frankly, this is not only what's right, it's the easy decision. Uh, we should, in fact, do that. So Governor Hochul, appoint your members. If you're not going to appoint your members, then allow them to constitute the board the way it is. Mayor Adams, I know you're busy. Appoint your member. If you're not going to appoint your member, then get out of the way so we can do the people's work and we can save lives. And with that, again, I just, on behalf of the conference, want to thank uh, both of you for being here, uh, for continuing to be fierce advocates and continuing to share your story. With that, we'll take any questions if you have them. If not, uh, we'll move on. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.